Hey, hey, what's up? It's Randy, and welcome to another episode of my channel. Guess what time it is? It's lunchtime. But more importantly, it's time to eat. And I know that this building behind me, and a lot of people know what this is, but some people don't know that they have a little restaurant in there that actually has really good food that's really affordable. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna eat lunch at Ikea. Let's check it out. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. Let's do it. Here we are. Ikea, here's the escalator. Let's go up the escalator to the restaurant. It's on the second floor. Here's the top of the escalator here. And then you swing around here, kind of walk through here, and here's a whole cafeteria. It's cafeteria style, lunch items, dinner items. They just have a few, well, kind of a limited menu, but uh, it's actually pretty cool. I'll kind of give you, it's kind of cool the way they set up. Here's where all the carts go for the trash and for your, you know, when you're done eating and stuff like that. They even have little couches over there you can sit in. But here is kind of what it looks like here. There's no one here, it's pretty early. I think they even have breakfast too, which is cool. And then they have um, their own soft drinks too. And I'll show you that in a second. Check it out. They have all kinds of stuff. The meatballs is what I'm getting. That is awesome. And there's the the menu right there. It's $9.99 for the meatballs. Ooh, it actually went up in price. Yeah, this is, I'm a little early, but still, you know, it's 12 o'clock somewhere, so we're gonna have lunch. Look at all these delicious desserts. I've had their cheesecake. It's actually really good. There it is right there. They have that chocolate cake too. Little salads. Salmon salad right there. And then all kinds of like little drinks and stuff like that. Okay, check it out. They have all these sodas here. It's their own mixtures of sodas. They have the lingonberry, raspberry, lemon, pear. She said the part sparkling pear is really good. And then they have the uh, sugar-free cola. I'm not sure if it has caffeine or not. All right, here it is. I got me a little side salad, and there is the meatballs. Potatoes and peas. They're Swedish meatballs. And I just, she just informed me as I was paying that it's half off the hot meals on Friday. So I saved a little money by coming on Friday. Woohoo! Hey, I'm back. I just sat down, I just showed you a picture of the food. This is incredible. This is gonna be just, just like I am in my car, actually, but I'm, I'm sitting inside this cafeteria, Ikea's restaurant. I'm kind of over here in the corner, so. Um, there's actually not too many people here right now. Uh, it does get pretty busy, and so I'm glad I came early. But what I discovered, I'm gonna go over the bill real quick. What I discovered is that she said, it's half off the hot meals on Fridays. So I picked the excellent day to come to Ikea for lunch. So um, let's see. It was 8.49 for the meatballs. And then um, half of that minus 4.25, I guess. Yeah, 4.25. And then um, I ordered an additional um, meatball so it comes with 12 the original order um, so I went with um, 16 and you pay three dollars extra for that and then let's see yeah then the soda they have their own sodas I showed you that on, on the uh, video this is this happens to be sparkling pear she, re she recommended it but I'm gonna try their diet cola too actually But sparkling pear, ooh, it tastes good. It's real light tasting. 
I like their ice too. Almost tastes like a ginger ale a little bit. Not too bad. So that was $2 for unlimited drinks. And then, um, let's see. Um, I'm just checking the camera here. Um, and then I got me the, the side salad right there. And that was uh, $1.99. So after the discount and everything, the whole meal with the salad and everything, might wanna brace yourself just a little bit because I actually originally thought it was a little cheaper than what it is. So I'm glad I got the discount. But it turns out, um, even with the discount, all this stuff comes to twelve sixteen, and that's with the tax and everything. Um, but you get quite a bit of food. You get a pretty decent amount of food. And I'm gonna show you, there it is. Woohoo! That's what I'm going to be eating right there. Let's see if we can get a good thumbnail here. Just holding this up. Holding these sweetest meatballs up. Woohoo! We got a little ranch too. I'm anxious to try their ranch. I should try it right now. Mmm! <laughs> That's how I try it, man. That's how I try it. <laughs> So let's dump a little on this uh, on this salad. You know, you got you got to mix in a salad once in a while. A big guy like me, yeah, I like to eat, but you, you got to mix in a salad once in a while. You do. Mm. Ranch is not bad, not bad at all. And they pack this pretty full of all the the necessary uh, vegetables. Mm-hmm. There's people starting to sit around now. <laughs> but, yeah, it's got tomato, little sliced tomatoes, cucumbers, Lots of um, carrots. Mm. Mm. That's a pretty good salad right there. Oh. Now, I gotta tell you something here. Lingonberry. That's the sauce. Do you see that sauce right there? It's like the red sauce. It's lingonberry. That's the same berry that um, on the Big Lebowski, the Big Lebowski movie. I love that movie. But when the uh, Germans were in the little diner and the girl had, uh, they cut her toe off. The the German girl. They a lot of them ordered the lingonberry pancakes. <laughs> so. That's uh, kind of a my little nod to the big to the big Lebowski lingonberry, and uh, it's here at, at IKEA. So I got these little flags. Woohoo! Sweden. Sweden's got some good food. I'm telling you. Sweden's got the meatballs. They got the meatballs down down pat, and they put a little gravy on these. But there's one right there. Oh man. So good. I've been here before many times. Eating. And um, it's always really, really a good treat. It seems like their prices might have gone up a little bit though. Because I kind of remember it being a little cheaper. But I'm glad I got that discount today. Half price on the hot meals. It's still a little early. Right now it's 10.52. But hey, like I say, it's, it's 12 o'clock somewhere. It is. So, I mean, it's okay if we eat this. It's okay. Lingonberry. Lingonberry pancakes. In fact, I'm going to buy some lingonberry today. 
I'm making lingonberry pancakes. There's no way around it. I, I can't not leave this store without ling lingonberry. Mmm. Peas. So good. Mmm. Now, the, the story about this place is they have something like 400 worldwide stores. I can't remember the exact amount. It's something like four, four close to 500. But in America, in the United States, they have 51 or 52, depending on what, what website you go to. Um, there was a little bit of, uh, one said 52, one said 51. I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, for sure, but it's right around the, you know, 50, 50 mark for stores. California has nine, and they're actually, in 2024, they're planning on doing two more in L in LA area. So uh, LA is gonna have, I, I don't know exactly how many they have down there, but um, but we, here, here in Sacramento, we are fortunate because we are a place that has an Ikea. And not too many people, not too many places, I mean, there's a lot of places, it's almost like they're everywhere, but they're not. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, uh, stores, they have a lot of stores, but it's like whenever you, you know, like my, my nephew, him and his uh, now wife, you know, his, his girlfriend, they love this store, you know, and they, when they come and visit, they plan like a whole day just to come to Ikea because they live in the, in the Boise area and they don't have one in the Boise, you know. So there's a lot of bigger cities that don't have the Ikeas. So we are fortunate here. This place is getting busy now. I'm seeing people walking by there looking at me funny. <laughs> hey. I do it for the Lingonberry. But anyway, we're fortunate to have a, a uh, an Ikea here in Sacramento. West Sacramento, to be exact used to be the armpit of Sacramento. Now it's pretty pretty decent, man. Um, they got West Sacramento kind of, you know, built up and uh, doing pretty good. I don't want to bag on West Sacramento, but uh, at one time back in the really early days, it used to be really a high-end place, but then it took a turn for the worst and became a real kind of poverty and, and um, crime and stuff like that. But then they've uh, put a lot of stuff into it. And you know, the River Cat Stadium is in West Sacramento now. And in fact, I'm wearing my River Cats hat today. And I'm wearing my cool California shirt. You gotta see this shirt. It's this California bear hugging <laughs> the state of California. California needs a hug. If it needs anything, it needs a hug, that's for sure. And lower gas prices, that's for sure. But anyway, I'm enjoying this so much. Kinda feels like you guys are here, right here with me. <laughs> I appreciate it. Cause people are kinda looking at me funny, but like I said, 12 o'clock somewhere, and I do it for the lingonberry. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna take a look around this place too. I'll probably go just go downstairs. Because mm. really, I'll, I'm not gonna look at any of the furniture, but I'm gonna look at some of the kitchen utensils stuff like that there's a few things I could use mm. man this is delicious sparkling pear Ah, uh, it's 
it's good. Not much taste to it, really. It does taste like pear, but it also, also tastes kind of like uh, maybe a little bit like um, a ginger ale, kind of, yeah. Hold that thought. I will be right back. I'm gonna go get some of the cola and I'll be right back. I'm back. Finishing up my salad here. I'm getting kind of busy now. There's people sitting behind me now. So I'm gonna finish up the salad. Getting some greens. Mm, so good. Okay. Oh. Got some napkins. They have good good napkins here. Here's what I went to get. It's their cola, Diet Coke. And I have to say it tastes pretty, pretty good. It tastes a lot like Diet Pepsi. It tastes more like Diet Pepsi than Diet Cola, than Diet Coke. Tastes pretty good for their own mixture. It tastes pretty dang good. All right, the last meatball. Check it out. That was delicious. So good. I really like their soda too. Pretty good. Good ice too. Okay. I'm gonna put this away. And then, then we're gonna go check out the store their carts all four wheels turn they're so much fun the carts next level cards next level shopping carts here that's for sure see you soon all right going downstairs now to like where the kitchen uh, stuff is I'm not gonna walk through the furniture area today but there's the carts. Like I said, these are fun. Next level carts. All four wheels turn. Check it out, there it is. See how all four wheels turn right there? <laughs> awesome. Thing here a bread box do I need a bread box I'm not sure if I do or not but I feel like I do look at all the different styles of pots and pans that they have it's crazy they have everything here I love it ooh that thing looks looks a little nasty all kinds of brushes you can never pass up a 79 cent brush. I'm getting one. All kinds of jars. Sounds like they're doing a little construction. Or that might be my stomach from the from the food, maybe, I don't know. I feel a rumbling. Can anyone say meal prep? This is like an Ikea staple right here. I know people that have these in their kitchens. A little Tupperware pack. Four ninety nine. I can't beat that. Susan, why do you feel you have to be so lazy? Don't be so lazy, Susan. Ooh, they got the music going in here. Gotta watch out. Copyrights. Ah! All right, the music stopped for a few minutes. 
Oh, it's starting up again. Now, this is pretty cool, man. So far, I got my uh, little brush, and that's it. Actually, what they do call those things lazy Susans, just so you know. That little turn thing, you just turn it around. Instead of have reach your hand over to grab the ranch dip or whatever, you could turn it, and it comes to you. Lazy Susan. Ow! All kinds of bedding, pillows. Pillows galore, jeez, look at all the pillows. Oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me. If you need a throw blanket for your house, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This is your place right here. Toilets aren't gonna clean themselves. You got your choice, black or white. It's for the lotion, the lotion. If you need a step stool, here they are. It's kind of like the squatty potty. Throw blankets. It never ends. It never ends. There's so many. Welcome. Ah, uh, no. Ikea kind of represents um, like hope for the future, like new relationships. A lot of people come here when they're starting to live together. They buy their, their stuff for their new house together. This is, Ikea's like the start of all your hopes and dreams. I feel like I could use an Ikea rain hat. Uh, no. Yeah, Ikea is like the place that you go when you're first like living with your high school sweetheart and you guys are in college now and or you're just starting your family together. This is the place. You got everything. And your wife would say, oh, that would look so cute in our breakfast nook. Breakfast nook. There we go. Ooh, there it's closed. Now it's open. <laughs> it's a globe. It's closed. Then it opens. Wow, look at it. They do have some cool artwork here. All kinds of stuff. Aww. Love that, man. That's awesome. California needs a hug. Tea lights. If you ever need a vase. Oh, that's a huge cheese grater. Look at that thing. More tea lights. Is this asparagus? Fake plastic trees. And then this is where you pick up all your stuff. You write down the little code when you see it in the showroom. And then you come through and you pick up your item. This is just one of the mini warehouse rows. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I, Ikea always kind of reminds me of, you know, kind of like new beginnings and new relationships and kind of innocence and hope for the future. <laughs> <laughs> but there's those times that you know she'll realize that you're not quite the man she thought you were and you realize your beautiful bride is a little cray cray then you start buying your furniture on Amazon again <laughs> that would be so cute in our breakfast nook there is no way I could sit in these chairs but that would fold for sure Actually, these little carts are pretty cool. I have one, a, a black one at home that my mom got me from Ikea. That would literally take you weeks, weeks to assemble. I promise you. It's not the easiest stuff to put together. It comes in a tiny little box and you're all happy when you pay for it. You get it home, a zillion pieces. It will take you weeks. There's another row here. Yeah, this is a big place. Huge, 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 huge. I wouldn't even try sitting in that thing. <laughs> they need to make these things bigger, that's for sure. And check it out, lingonberry. I'm getting some of this. I'm gonna have me some lingonberry pancakes. I'm waiting for the self checkout. Here we go. Check it out, here's the self-checkout. Pretty high tech, pretty nice. Yeah, they have everything over here. Even 
salmon, little chunks of salmon, pretty awesome. There's the different types of meatballs that they have. All right, exiting. And all their parking lot is solar, or a lot of it is. Pretty cool. All right, there we go. I'm out of the store. I got a few items. I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. Show you what I got. Nothing too major. I just wanted to kind of look around and it was fun. And I just uh, wanted to show you the exit right here. They even have little spots where you can back your car up in case you bought a lot of stuff. Man, those people really take this place serious, man. They come in, buy big old cartloads of stuff. It's pretty wild. It's a pretty big store. And you can see I-80 up in the background there. Backed up as usual. Traffic, man. Gotta love it. California traffic. California needs a hug. Remember. Yeah, there's the entrance right there. And that second level right there was where the restaurant was. That's where I was in there eating. And they even advertise on the outside. Look at that little table. It would go so cute in our breakfast nook. Sliding on in. Okay, here we are. Made it back to the car. Letting it warm up a little bit. It's actually been super nice weather lately, but today feels a little chillier. I wore a sweatshirt earlier, got a little hot in the store, but um, walking out, I think there's a little rain coming this weekend, which is nice. Spring's not quite here yet, but it'll be here soon. I wanted to show you a little little haul of what, what I've got here. First of all, lingonberry pancakes. I got the lingonberry. I'm gonna make me some pancakes. Just like in Big Lebowski. <laughs> All right, check it out. I got this. I'm not quite sure why, but I think for my air fryer, I was looking for something similar to this to grab stuff. And this is pretty strong. It's made out of wood, but um, I wish it was maybe like a little bit more like wider but it, it was it was cheap it was only like a dollar 40 or something like that dollar 39 something like that <sighs> just like i said you can't leave the store without buying a brush i'm not sure what i'll use for this but i did buy one last time and i do use it so I'm, I'm pretty sure I can find a use for this one here too. So, um, 79 cents, got a brush. And, hoo -hoo, you might wanna brace yourself a little bit because I got this. I'm assuming it's similar to Twix. It's like a cookie caramel candy. It's kind of small, $1 for that. It's a little pricey, come on Ikea. 50 cents, man, 50 cents. That's all, you know, 50 cents. Come on, come on. All right. And now these, I know my girlfriend likes these too, but I'll end up eating most of them, I'm sure. But I got the chocolate. This is with the hazelnuts. Ooh, really good. This is very good, very tasty. I actually got two of those. And then I got just the one milk chocolate. Chocolate. Um, yeah, I don't need that, but I purchased it, so I got it now, and I think that's it. All that was about maybe 15 bucks. The candy, the little uh, tongs, the lingonberry, lingonberry jelly. All right. <sighs> I'm kind of exhausted. That was like quite an event. I was there, I don't know, about an hour or so, probably somewhere around there. The food was delicious. If you ever get a chance to get to Sacramento or if you live in Sacramento and you didn't realize they have food, 
check out their food, but go on Friday. It's half off on the hot plates, on the, the meal plates. So it's half off. Um, still, you know, in my opinion, maybe just a little pricier. I think they could probably do better, kind of like Costco does with their with their food. Costco is super cheap. That draws people in. More people spend money when they're here. You know, Ikea should take note with Costco and, and lower the, the food prices a little bit. Um, but the half off on Fridays, pretty reasonable. And that was cool that, you know, she told me about that and I benefited from that today. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you so much. I'm going to call it good for today. I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me, going to Ikea, eating lunch at Ikea, and just checking out the store a little bit. You know, we didn't go everywhere. I didn't see all the furniture and stuff like that, but we saw, saw a good portion of it and uh, got a few things and uh, just want to say thanks for watching. Stay, thanks for hanging out with me on my lunch. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot and give the video a thumbs up. And also uh, check out a few of my other videos. I do uh, other food reviews and I have some Sacramento vlogs and uh, some busking videos, different things like that. So uh, go through my channel and kind of check out a few things if you could. And uh, yeah, please subscribe if you could. And um, I guess that's gonna do it, man. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, see ya.